<laughs> there we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Dad Gaming Stream. How is everyone doing today? My name is Tom Caswell, aka Great Britom, and I am joined by Jordan Stratton, aka Jordan Stratton. 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 It's a it's a very poor moniker, but uh, I I had very little time to think. Of <laughs> <laughs> I went with uh, my government name. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, guys. Well, we got a very exciting day for you. It is Elden Ring Eve. And actually, if you're on PC, right after the stream, I think you can go start playing Elden Ring yourself. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, so we are checking out Elden Ring today. I have been playing about 30 hours, 30 plus hours of the game. 30 hours? I mean, people put in like at least double that, if not more as well, in the same amount of time. So... I it's would say I've, I've heard it's a lot of game. It's, yeah, it's an absolutely unbelievable amount of game. In my review uh, that I have for my podcast, uh, YouTube.com, which is fantastic, slash, by the way. Thank you, thank you. I I'm we'll very proud out. of it. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash unranked podcast is where you can go find that. But um, in that, uh, I I call it my the forever game. I call this the 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 from software Dark Souls game that you could literally play forever and always find something new in. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a beast of a game. I'm only in the second major area, which um, for which is actually really great because one of the things that they said in like the review guidelines was don't show past the second major area. Like we consider oh. that like kind of spoiler <laughs> content, but those areas are huge anyway, so we're we're all good um yeah so jordan what's your history with souls you have you been excited for this have you been waiting to stay uh, like christmas no uh let me tell you my history with souls oh, uh, boy. i think i think i i played the first uh 45 minutes to an hour of the first dark souls game and i promptly turned it off and said this is not for me this is not my <laughs> uh cup of tea i'm not a masochist i like to play things that make me happy and so that was it. I should take time to dive back in and actually get my feet more than wet and just actually get in the pool with one of these games. Mm. I just haven't done it yet. I haven't. So there it is. Truth time. Truth telling. What is your experience, Tom? You seem like a, a vet in the From Software world. Uh, yeah. So um, my experience is that I actually picked up the original Demon Souls when that game came out um because i was like this game looks awesome like high fantasy game and then i played it and i was like what the wtf <laughs> i was like what are you kidding me you know because i was i was 16 at the time so i couldn't swear you know as all 16 year olds are. right we're, we're bound right. by blood not to swear like that <laughs> that is law. Uh, yeah it's the law um so i just like ev i tried every time a new souls game came out then to get into it and i just couldn't but Bloodborne was the thing that absolutely uh, changed uh, my entire kind of like perspective on everything. And I, it came out, Bloodborne came out my senior year of college. I might have been living with someone who may or may not have sold certain substances at the time oh. that we were, you know, may or may not be engaging in and it was also sure. a senior year of art college uh, a film major so i had a lot of time on my hands yeah. and uh, <laughs> and um yeah and so there was one boss in bloodborne that i shit you not every day for a week i sat down six hours trying to beat every day just sitting on the couch every day trying to do that and um, six hours a day it, with, I, on, against one boss against one boss that, make sure the math is right yeah okay. that, that that's my memory on that um, See, no part of that sounds fun to me. <laughs> that just sounds like chores on chores on chores every day. Yeah, so uh, it was, no, because it was just like, I had to beat it. And someone, uh, Maddie Myers, who works over at Polygon, uh, who used to be co-workers together over at uh, uh, Gizmodo and Kotaku, uh, they said um, they said something to the effect of like, you just have to believe in yourself. <laughs> for these games and there is no game or experience that i've had in my life where it has been i just have to believe that i can do this and then you do it through the power of belief like it is it is uncanny and from, from that moment on i was in love played dark souls 3 played sekiro uh, i've even played the souls likes like neo as well i really like and so i've been very excited for elden ring um 
and yeah i'm i'm really enjoying it and uh i i say in my review that the open world and the game go together like peanut butter and jelly um it is a perfect marriage and you have traditional souls areas with you know like castles and like things with linear paths that are um kind of the scattered throughout this huge open world and the open world is like breath of the wild where it is there's always something in the distance that catches your eye and you want to sure. go check yeah. it out like all the time and so the moment the number of times where i've just come up against something and like had my jaw drop and be like oh my god like there was this <laughs> bit where there was this like wall and there was a huge like part of it was ruined so i could actually cross over this hill and as i came over the hill in the distance in the fog was this castle and i just saw this giant stone creature that i couldn't really make out because it was foggy but it had a flaming bow and arrow and that was the one thing that i could like make out through the fog and it was like way like you're describing a dream to me that's like <laughs> it's just a vaguely there it's like then there was this castle yeah. and then there was a guy i couldn't be he was made out of rocks and he had a flaming bow and arrow and yeah. that's all i could see the beacon on the horizon <laughs> <laughs> so that that moment is like the one that really stands out but honestly and i'm sure that we will run into a lot of these moments uh i'm so in, excited in this um so before we start getting into gameplay yes we are doing a giveaway uh we are playing elden ring today and tomorrow at 4 p.m eastern as well which is exciting and we're doing giveaways both days so if you don't win today uh you have another shot tomorrow uh, you can hit exclamation point giveaway in the chat for the, the rules at any point. But basically the way it works is that at some point in the stream, we are going to be running the giveaway. Uh, and you will have to hit exclamation point enter at that point to be entered to win. And uh, we are asking that people be in the chat for the giveaway itself. So there should only be a few minutes, like five minutes between entering the giveaway and us doing the giveaway. If you are not here... <laughs> when the giveaway happens or when we announce the winner and you are announced the winner and you are not here and we, we give you a minute and you, there's no response, we will pick someone else. Uh, it is absolutely zero fun to do a giveaway with someone <laughs> not in the chat. Um, so th those are the rules, kids. Um, but yeah, if, if you don't win today, don't worry. We will have another opportunity uh, tomorrow to, to do uh, for you to win. And that's that. And I think... Without further ado, let's jump into the Elden Ring. Let's go. Oh, that was such a great transition. I'm so good at this, <laughs> and I know exactly what I'm doing all the time, except for the fact that I don't even have the game screen up once <laughs> for myself. <laughs> I'm so good at this. How do I turn it on? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, man, you were talking about like that first instance of like just seeing something off in the disc. I think the first time I experienced that, that kind of like open world majesty mm -hmm. was playing Oblivion for the first time. It was like when you walked out and you're like, oh, look at those mountains over there. I can go there. It was like one of those few moments where it wasn't just like backgrounds, like nonsense back there. Like you could go anywhere. So I know, I know that feeling. I mean, granted, that was much lower resolution feeling, but it was it was still there. It looked great at the time in 2007 or 8 or whenever that was. The other thing that's uh, really nice about this is that, um, uh, you know, like the, the map and we'll, we'll jump in and show you the map, but especially like we jumped into the horizon at the end of last week. And it's a game that I actually really love and like feels kind of like a nice bomb to this. Like they kind of complement each other in a way where some, I like, if I get sick of one, I'm jumping into the other and, and vice versa. Um, but yeah, basically uh, in the, uh, in the game uh, map. Uh, well, right now I oh. don't have the, I don't have the map loaded, but like, where I do over here, there aren't any icons. Um, okay, yeah, let me adjust the, make it a bit quieter on the game audio. And j just to clarify, you are playing on Xbox, right? Yeah, I'm actually playing on the Series S um, no. on this one, no and it actually runs pretty well. Uh, Limeria says, please don't spoil stuff. We're, we're not going to do any kind of, like, any of the major bosses. Or The only boss that I've actually beaten is the one that is across all of the promotional stuff. So if you've seen any, tra like if you've seen any of the initial trailers and stuff, like 
that's that's the only one I've crossed. We're just going to kind of explore the world. Um, uh, everyone in chat saying no spoiling. Um, <laughs> oh, someone We're else. Not spoil it for oh, you. Oh, other people. <laughs> oh, maybe it was some someone else that maybe mentioned something in chat. That oh, in the something. chat. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. That is something that's that's uh, what I've heard about from, from software games since I haven't really played too many. Is that similar to other games? The story is pretty vague but if you really want to get into it you can like there's there is a lot of depth you know there's a lot of lot to explore and to discover but it's not you know you you got to work at it like you said like this is a game you can play forever you can be uncovering things for years for you know years from now you could be diving back in and finding things you didn't know before and that's, that's always exciting um so i have people asking me if i can stay in limgrave uh i can totally do that so limgrave is this uh initial area then you fight a boss and you can move into um, some Leona of the Lakes. And according to Bandai Namco and From Software, those are the two areas that aren't considered spoilers. But since we've got people asking to stay in Limgrave, there's a ton of stuff I still haven't seen in Limgrave. So we can go back. And yeah, so the nice thing is, is that you can actually fast travel to any of the sites of grace, as they're called. Hmm. Yeah. Love um, a good fast travel system. Yeah, actually better than the fast travel system in uh, <laughs> in Horizon, surprisingly. Oh, yeah. Huh. Um, but in yeah, like there's just there's no clutter on the map. Everything is like an organic thing that you are, you know, discovering. Mm. Um, now, tell me about this uh, the class that you're playing as right now. Can so you tell I, me about your build. Yeah. So I actually I actually started with. Um, the confessor class which the game kind of says is the best kind of jack of all trades master of none like if you want to uh, dabble in all the magic but also be good at melee and it gives you like a classic sword and shield weapon to start out with which i'm always a sucker for um so that's what i started out with but any class can eventually kind of be modified to whatever you want it to be like if i wanted to make this a primarily magic class um I could do that, and that's true for really any Souls game. Um, got it. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually going to change hey. out my helmet because I think I've got a better... Okay, so this is a slightly better... Uh, the weight is the same. I've just been wanting to change my outfit for a while because I haven't like really found anything, so I'm going to change <laughs> to this. It just gives yeah, me like a little nuts. plume on the top there. <laughs> and that is something that I've heard also is that this game those those classes and those builds can vary so much that you know if you were to replay this game and go a completely different route if you're going to go away from melee maybe focus on magic it's going to be a completely different experience Absolutely. i mean almost a completely different game and what's really funny is i have a uh i have this weapon that i want to use that is like this kind of like energy blade and i'm i want to use it so bad but um the i don't have a high enough intelligence stat and i haven't actually touched intelligence since the start of the game just um, a bumbling idiot and now <laughs> and now the problem is is like it's so expensive it's like almost ten thousand runes right which are the currency to upgrade one level point that i'm just like pumping things into intelligence and like <laughs> it's taking me forever um when are we going to be doing the giveaway we usually do the giveaways in the second half of the the stream um so like sometime after 5 Eastern, maybe like around 5.30 is what we've been doing to give people kind of a general idea. Um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Dad Gaming. Yeah, definitely. Five, I would say 5.30 is around the time we'll start looking for a lull in gameplay or a lull in chat. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah. All right. So where where are you approaching right now? What is this? Uh, oh, hello. Uh, okay, we're just gonna do some stabs. We're real gonna quick. do a couple of cool. slices. Yeah. So uh, so I'm in Lumeria, which is the the opening of the game. This part is like if you if you're playing the game within an hour, you are going to be you can access kind of where I'm at. Um, and uh, one of the things is uh, in this game you have a steed. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you can do horse combat. That being said, I don't find the horse combat to be that great. It's a little clunky, mm -hmm. like trying to like get a swipe in. Oh. Um, 
And honestly, I've found it very effective to just fight people on steeds on the ground. Um, but you kind of, I, I, I've been trying to mess with it because some people seem to really like it. And so, like, hmm. I, I tried to, like, kind of get used to how the game wanted me to play it. And, yeah, here we go. Yeah, someone just asked, uh, what platform is the giveaway? We will, uh, it's, it'll be the platform of your choice. It'll be Whatever platform you're playing of your on. choice, yep. We will, we'll, we'll follow up on that. We'll get your information. We'll get the platform you're playing on, and we will get it to you. You want to know something really, really weird, Jordan? So I uh, always do, Tom. So Digital Digital Foundry put out like their initial impressions. So the PC build yeah. of the game is kind of messy right now, unfortunately. Uh, not unplayable, but there's like some stuttering issues and like some things with that, which is uh, upsetting. So they haven't got their full breakdown out yet. But the other thing is, is that the game doesn't run even in performance mode at a solid 60 frames. You get about between somewhere between 40 and 60 at times. Digital Foundry said that if you want to um, get locked 60 frames on PS5, you have to download the PS4 version, and that is the best. Like perform from a performance standpoint of getting the most frames, that is the okay, best. Okay, so way. it's not. <laughs> It might not look as as nice, but performance wise, yeah. it's gonna it's, it's gonna be it's, smooth as butter. So it's the PC4 Pro of the build that's running. Uh -huh. So it's running at a lower resolution, but you can get like all the like a solid sixty frames out of it. So any anyone that gets the game on PS5, for now you might want to download the PS4 version. Um, but the game, for all of like its quirks, like this game is like one of the best games ever made. So you know. You gotta kind of uh, give it its due a little bit. Uh, the, the, these these guys are awesome. These uh, trolls that are the pulling this cart. Um, so these carts will always have like a pretty cool item in the back, but you do have to like kill the trolls before you can access it. But as you can see, I've actually already, I've already claimed this one. This is a chest that I opened earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you can just walk right up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can get, but you can't open the chest until the uh, the giant's uh, slain. Understood. Yeah. Um, so this area I'm moving into, uh, as you can kind of see. Why well, doesn't let me bring up the map? That's weird. Okay. Well, never mind. I can't bring up the map. So this area I'm moving into is really a part of the map that I uh, haven't explored yet. And actually, I think maybe to get over here. I don't think, uh, maybe I can, let's see. Oh, there's another castle over there. See, like I didn't even know. You have not been there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, I think that the best, oh, and look at these, this Wolverine. I was about claw. to say, are those Wolverine yeah. claws? But then watch this, watch this. Schnicked. <laughs> oh yes. I actually kind All of right, like Bob. this. I actually kind of like this weapon a lot. I'm, I usually use the broadsword because, like, one or two strikes, like most enemies will go down. Um, and I, this is the thing I always fall into with the Souls game where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna try out some magic or I'm gonna try like the cool freaky weapons. I'm like, no, just the broadsword. Like default. Stick all the with time. what you know. Yeah. Come on. And then the other problem is, is that like. You put, you could use smithing stones to upgrade equipment. So once I've upgraded that to a certain point, I'm like, well, this is just way better than any of the other shit. Mm. But I really want to use this energy sword. And I know that it's like not as good as the broad sword that I have, but like, <laughs> I, what does it, it look? Are you yeah, saying energy sword? And I'm just thinking lightsabers. Uh, like that's that's no, all I can no, think. No, I know no. it's not. Yeah, let me um, <laughs> let me pull it up. Let me just make sure I'm safe too to pull it up because you can't pause in this game. Um, so hopefully no one attacks me right now, but let me, yeah, let me pull this, this bad boy up. Yeah. Someone uh, is asking about the difficulty level. Comparing Look it to at Dark that. Souls. Ooh, like, that's who, sexy. Uh, are you kidding me? I'm not, not going to try and use Come that. on. Is this as hard as Dark Souls? I think this game is still very difficult. And I think the bosses are some of the hardest in any, like from software game. Um, the game does give you a ton of ways to improve and like aids in battle so you can summon spectral allies that don't really do a ton of damage but are really good at distracting the boss. That's what I found they're like really good for. Mm. Um, you also can find NPCs in the world. So you play as a tarnished and you are one of like a, a group of outcasts that has to kind of uh, 
claim reclaim the Elden Ring. Uh, which so why, is, why are you tasked with that? Why is that your job? Um, you know what? It's not necessarily like really clear. If I'm being honest. No. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Uh, these little scarabs also, uh, in previous games, they just like gave you items, but they actually can re in this one replenish your um, uh, crimson. Your if you find a red scarab, it fills your crimson tear flasks. Uh, back up to full, which is your health potions, and then cerulean mm. tears are the blue ones. And if you kill a, a, a scarab that is um, a blue scarab, it refills those. So in previous games, I'm pretty sure the only way to refill your health and magic potions was to reset the world by stopping at one of the bonfires, which is a site of grace in this one. That was the only way to really reclaim your... Uh, all of your potions back in this game there's numerous ways to do it so not only can you reset at a side of grace you can uh kill those scarab things and reset them and also when you get to an area that has like a bunch of enemies in it if you clear out that area with enemies it refills all your flasks as well so it's things like uh -huh. that that give a little bit more aid that make it a bit more accessible but it's still very difficult i think people that are expecting like easy dark souls like you have to kind of reset your expectations because i the first boss battle the first major boss battle before i got to the second area that was literally four hours of of oh me even with all the aids and stuff like that and i by this by the skin of my teeth got through it <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so i'm just, okay cool so there is a way down over here and I don't know if you saw, but uh, Ruben just said that we uh, your game audio might be a little loud. I think that I fixed that. I should have fixed Wait. that. Cool. Okay, good. Just awesome. want to make sure. Yeah. I want to make sure because we oh can't God, hear Skype it. Is just just so, you know, so you know, chat. <laughs> um, yeah, someone that was, I was just going to make a comment about these uh, eagles. They're, first of all, massive. Just just huge bald eagles hanging out. And oh, someone yeah, made these, a comment these... like, why can't, the, why can't you just uh, have the eagles carry you to Mordor? You know, a nice little Lord of the Rings ref. Have you seen that animation? Uh, from like it must be like the mid 2000s where they they changed the ending and oh like, the like how it should have ended yeah That's it's like how it's like how it yeah. should have ended and it's just aragorn gimli and legolas like standing on the edge of mordor like mooning sauron and he's like what's that <laughs> over there and then the eagles fly in just drops it in and that did it and, and like they do it and they drop it in and they're like wow that was really easy uh <laughs> yeah they're like wow someone one of us could have died or whatever so I'm actually, I think I'm going to fast travel to here, and hopefully I can cross. I'm trying to get over to this other half, but maybe I can't do it from here. I don't like smoking Oni token. <laughs> I love that. Big fan of that. So yeah, I'm just trying to get to the, the other half. Uh, Odin's Eye was asking, he said, what was that about the PS5 versus PS4 versions? I just missed it. Buy PS4 for, for PS5, huh? Yeah, he was saying that the in order to get the proper performance or, or frame rate that you might want, if you if you prefer that, uh, buy the PS4 version if you're going to play on PS5. You're going to get think, a oh, higher frame. I think that if you um, buy, like, the game on PlayStation... Oh, brilliant. Genius. Great. Oh, uh, I was just, I just didn't want any of that smoke. I was just trying to get out of there, guys. Like, <laughs> can't believe you did this to me. Um, but yeah, so if you buy the game on PlayStation, you get both copies. Uh, okay. I think, I think if you get it on play, PS4 and you're playing on PS4, you get a free upgrade to PS5 when you eventually move. But um, the, the thing about it is that on PlayStation, you can actually choose to download. If you're on PS5, you can choose to download the PS4 version, which is usually a huge pain. Uh, because on Xbox, it does smart delivery, where it knows what system you're on, and it downloads the game to that system. Uh, PlayStation, you have to manually kind of choose, like, I'm downloading this version. So you mm -hmm. can't replicate that on um, Xbox. Like, I can't download the Xbox One version of Series X or S, which usually, it's so funny, we've been, like, giving so much shit to PlayStation about, like, how it has dumb delivery, right? Where it doesn't, you know, but now for 
specifically this game, it's actually a boon if you want the 60 frames per second because you can't replicate that on um, on Xbox. That's so funny and annoying. Yeah, it is <laughs> like, hilarious and annoying and the world God. is... Just every layer of the world is just like, why is everything like this? Why is this happening to me? That's so true. Cool, cool. So the, the real rub here is, I don't know if you can see this, but you see that big crossbow in the back? I do. Yeah, it shoots flaming crossbow bolts that are a real pain in the teeth, and that's why I lost my lives. But my uh -huh. runes are right there. So what I'm trying to do right now is dip in, grab my runes, and get out. But I get am the hell so out terrified of there. Okay. that... A um, giant flaming crossbow boy back so there. Let's, okay. let's give it a go. Oh! oh! He's still alive, folks. Okay, we survived that. We survived He grazed him. He grazed... Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. A little spicy back there. Okay, oh, calm it's down. Spicy, indeed. It's spicy. Initial what do you think the first? Go ahead. I'll go for it. Oh, uh, it was going to be off topic. So, so let's let's keep it on the game itself. <laughs> no, I want I want to hear what you can say. I was going to ask what what would you think is the first game that decided that red was going to be a health bar, blue was going to be a magic oh, bar, and green yeah, was going to be a stamina great. bar? Yeah. Um. I don't know. Do you think anyone I'm, ever did it different? I also don't know. I mean, that would be green, very confusing Green is health now. in a lot of games, too, as well. That's true. Right? That's true. That's but true. Blue but it's usually is, not like a straight Blue is bar. magic. Blue is always blue is magic. magic. Blue is always magic. Um, I don't know. What, like Final <laughs> Fantasy or... Um, oh, maybe. Dragon maybe Quest, Final right? Fantasy which or... I predated, predated yeah. Final Fantasy. I don't know. Wait, was it... I mean, Elder Scrolls has always done it. I, I haven't played the initial ones i mean like Elder dagger Scroll. fall and all that like i haven't yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know anyone in the chat know legend of zelda someone said legend of zelda, legend, legend of zelda that's actually, definitely that's yeah actually a really that's a good, good one that's actually a really good one is the mm -hmm. game actually worth 10 out of 10 yes i do i think that there is there is yeah i don't i i don't think it is a perfect game the camera sucks. The um, that is, I was going to ask about that. Yeah, the, yeah. Ca the camera's bad. Uh, inventory management is still annoying, but I think it's one of those things that for everything that this game does uh, well, like it just knocks it out of the park. Um, mm -hmm. And so it's it's like so 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 minimal complaints. Yeah, I saw someone post a, a photo of just like all of the places that had reviewed it already. <laughs> and yeah. I mean, it was like 10 out of 10. 10 yeah, out of 10. it was. And they, they just, nuts, this is yeah. not a meme. Like, yeah. it is not a joke. This is literally 30 different outlets saying this is a perfect game. Have you which seen? Which is absurd. What is that uh, movie uh, with Tom Hardy where he plays his own twin? Have you seen that one? And they're like, oh, called, like yeah, Legend or something like that. Oh my God, this thing. This thing has crazy wow. health. Oh my gosh! This is the thing in the new uh, Doctor Strange movie, isn't it? <laughs> it, looks like it looks a little bit like it. I remember <laughs> these guys actually being easy once I got like the. Um... Let's see. Let's see. I might eat my words here. <laughs> oh boy! Wow. Um, yeah, legend. I think it was called Legend or something, but. Um... It uh, it was Tom Hardy, and he played himself. Uh, well, he played he played uh, twins, right? Okay. Sure. And the poster yes, was the po the poster is the two of them, and it has like four stars, four stars, four stars. But the Guardian gave the movie a two star review, but they put the two stars in between their heads, and if you look at the pattern of stars, you don't know that it's you. You just think it's another four star review, but it's actually two stars. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Graphic design, baby. Yeah. Oh boy. I do like that. There's. I'm looking at a photo of them side by side, and all they did was just put glasses on him. Like that. Yep. That's what changed. It. I'm actually Jordan's twin today. I'm wearing glasses, so <laughs> it's not actually Jordan. I'm Jordan 2.0. I'm the better version. There we go. There we go. I think mm -hmm. I cut off one of its tents. Oh. I was gonna say that's that's a face only a mother could love, but I don't think that thing there even has a here face. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. This old this oh, is gonna do huge damage. And the money maker. Yeah, there we go. I knew. Yep, that killed it. 
Oh, no, it didn't. I lied. Yeah, I played the network test, and I remember, like, attacking this guy and being like, oh, my God, this thing is impossible. But then, like, if you get in, if you get in these big hits, um, it'll... It's a huge chunk. Yeah, it's like, yep, we're done. Goodbye. Nice. Nice. Now, are these, uh, do these enemies regenerate? Are they going to respawn when you leave this area? What is that? What happens here? Um... Uh, yeah, so if I leave the area, they won't respawn, but if I re if I refresh at a side of grace to mm. level up or do any kind of customization or refill my flasks and stuff, then, yeah, um, they will. Uh, for the most part, every enemy comes back. It's only, like, mini-bosses and bosses. Anything that has a health bar that displays along the bottom, like a full health bar, those, yeah. e those enemies do not come back. Got it, got it. Yeah. Big boss time. Yeah, someone said octopus from Mario Sunshine vibes, pulling off those tentacles. <laughs> God, that's so true. What a great call. Um, someone asked uh, about um, like how easy this will be to get into if you're not a Souls person. Good question. I think the, the, the best thing about this game is if you come across something that is proving too difficult, there's always something else to go check out. Um, even in this early area, because like to get to the next area and to continue the game, I do have to beat the boss. But I've done that. I've beat the boss of this area, and there is still this other half of this first area that I have not even checked out. And even the parts that I have explored, there was still tons of stuff that I I was like, I have to get to the boss because I want to beat the boss at least for the review, right? And so there's always something else to do, which is nice. But still, like you're gonna have to like. It's not just, like, pick up and play in a way that, like, Horizon might be. Ooh, Side of Grace. Here we go. So this is a new one. And if you touch the Grace, uh, this isn't like, going to reset anything. But once I rested it, like I'm about to do. Hmm. And what's the difference between those things? Like, touching it just, does that it just refill your health? Or it, just, it, it just activates it so it makes it a place, like, on the map that... Um, you can like fast travel to fast travel point. but if you want to cool. if you want to heal you have to rest at it um and let's see can i level up yet oh no i'm still a couple of rooms shy here um do you feel like you need to use different attacks and combos because in the previous games all you ever did was spam r1 um i use i do use my light attack a lot um but it's more learning the the speed of your attack and then also like the speed of your dodge and the speed of your enemies attacks so i don't think like combos are necessarily like a thing that you have to concern yourself with it's more about like learning the timing of everything but what i'm excited by this energy sword is it does seem to be a magic sword that might be able to like use some like magic abilities so and then also like i do have like this this one for example uh, has this uh this like whirlwind attack uh, oh, more Zelda. Yeah, that comes from that comes from um, an Ash of War, which is a new thing in the game, and it's kind of like if you played Bloodborne, the alternate weapon modes. But the cool thing is, is you can uh, you can take any of your weapons and like add these uh, abilities to them. Um, so, like for example, there's this sword sword dance one, which I'm gonna swap it out for. So now it does. Ooh, that's pretty cool. This big slash. Ooh, yeah, I'll take that. Ooh, nice little spin. I like that. Uh, Lemuria also asks, is Summon Sword still OP? I haven't... Is that the one where you have, like, spectral swords, like, hanging around you and then, like, shooting out? Uh, that sounds like what that would be. Yeah. But again, I, not, I, not the person to ask here. <laughs> I, haven't I haven't accessed that. I haven't, like, found that yet. Um, so we have this castle we could do. Um... Uh, we could go to the base of the Erd Tree. There is like a mini boss here that I think I can take out because I just fought another one and was able to defeat it. So let's see. Yeah, so the Erd Tree is like play into the lore of the game, which beyond like, yeah, you are a tarnished, you are a part of outcasts that have been reborn to help, um, uh, to, to, reclaim the, the Elden Ring and, like, fix the world, which is slowly crumbling because there are these war demigods. You know, George R. R. Martin apparently, like, worked on the lore of this story, and I gotta tell you, he may as well not have 
Like it all feels like it came from the brain. It just feels like Miyazaki, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I I was wondering about that too. Again, as someone who hasn't really played these games, do you think like that recurring element of, you know, this is a this is a reborn, you know, individual who doesn't really have a personality. Mm-hmm. Is that just like so you can imprint your own, yourself onto the character, you can connect with it more? Yeah, I definitely I definitely think that that's part of it. I think that um Yeah, I think that the the part of the souls thing is the aesthetic and that all stems from that element of yeah, you are mm-hmm. this undead uh, once dead, now living. All creature. zombie games, yeah. right? That's all they are. Zombies with swords. Uh, let's see what I can purchase from this guy who's got anything. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook. Oh, oh, I might. Oh man. Okay. Ooh. You know, I've been I've been festering for a shield. I've been feasting. I've been festering <laughs> in and feasting. <laughs> Um, but also, Sounds like, I kind, of, for a shield, folks. I kind of want this armor's cookbook because, honestly, the base things that I can craft, which is, I'm pretty sure, new to this game. I'm pretty sure you couldn't craft in any of the other games. Um, hmm. The base item crafting is, like, really... It's just, like, do you want a fire pot? <laughs> you know, like, that's the... Uh, um, Oh, okay, interesting, interesting. I have a bunch of these glint stones, actually. I should probably equip that. Now you're getting cookbook. Is there actual cooking happening? No, Is this just no, Breath I, of the Wild? With no, the- I don't. I don't think that. Um, I don't think that you cook. I think you just like read it, and you're like, cool. Now I can craft <laughs> things. Now I know this thing, and like another uh, like Skyrim books. It's like, oh, I just read this book, and I'm really good at using a bow for some reason now. Yeah. Yes, Skyrim was definitely, oh, not Skyrim, Bloodborne was definitely, Limeria says, Bloodborne was kind of different. Bloodborne mm-hmm. is the one that is, like, slightly excused from that formula. Like, this game is way more Dark Souls, Demon Souls than that. And, and actually, no, Sekiro is also, like, you died and you came back as well. Um, Bloodborne is very nebulous. And I also, I think Bloodborne is, like, the most lore-heavy of mm. all of the uh, all of the games. Um, I'm just eating some runes here because I'm about to buy this cookbook, but I don't want to use any of the <laughs> any of the runes that I've already uh, saved up from killing folks. Thank you. Yes, uh, let's purchase. So in this story, the mm. Elden Ring has been split, has been Shattered. cut into mul- shat- they, they call it. They call it the shattering the, is the event. The but, right uh, verb, okay, yeah. got it. And so it's been shattered into yeah. multiple pieces. How many pieces are we talking about? And they're all held by big beefy bosses, right? Is that right? Yeah, so I think there's six primary bosses in the game. Uh, someone asked also like what the, the this is actually great because I, I can talk about like how long the game is taking. I have been, I've been playing for 30 plus hours and I have been told, or at least Miyazaki said, yeah, you can beat this game in 30 hours. I do not see how that is even possible unless you are a pro Souls player who can play with, like, you see these people who are like, yeah, I beat this game with a stick or whatever, you know. If you're one of those <laughs> players, maybe you can do it in 30 hours. Yeah. Um, but it, I think it eventually kind of becomes a little bit like Breath of the Wild where you can go fight Ganon. Like, you right. can go tackle the end of the game without doing uh, all of the main stuff. But you're not going to want to do that. I know the only one of the few people that has beaten the game was IGN's reviewer, and they clocked in 86 hours. And they also, and they're like one of the few people that actually beat the game for review. Like most people who have reviewed this game did not beat it. Um, and, um, but they also send their review like I easily could have done hundreds more hours hundreds. worth of stuff before yeah, coming yeah. here. And I do think that this is a game that I am going to, even if I beat the final boss, like, I am always going to return to this. Because I did that with Bloodborne, honestly. And mm-hmm. this with the open world just makes all of that way more enticing. Um, yeah, I think but, that's that's huge. Because, I mean, like, there aren't many games that you can say, like, I'm a quarter of the way through, but I know for years to come I'm going to be diving back into this to explore it. That's That's not a lot of, you can't say that about a lot of games. I'm just trying to find this cookbook, bro. Oh, here we go. Need some recipes, man. Can I not? 
does it just give me the oh here we go or maybe not i don't know exalted flesh i guess i could make some of that and burnt phoenix said my problem with games like this is that i get bogged down with side quests then get burnt out on the game before i get through the story yeah. uh yeah i'm guilty of that sometimes in certain <laughs> games I, I i think that i think that this is a game though that i mean it's while very different to breath of the wild it is that thing of like it isn't it doesn't feel like a checklist of things that i'm doing it does feel yeah. like i am tackling it doesn't feel like you have this insurmountable list of things to do ahead of you. It feels like you're in the moment, I am tackling this, and the next thing I want to see is over there, and I'm going to go tackle that next. And you're, it's, it does allow you to kind of, yeah, be in the moment um, for, for a lot of these things. Um, I think, I whereas think Horizon, I booted it up, I look at the map, I'm like, oh my god, all these question marks, uh, like, I can't uh, do it, bro. Like, I can't. I think we're so different that way, because I, I am the opposite. Like, I went to Horizon, <laughs> I'm like, there's so much to do, I love this game. And then, uh, with, with a lot of, like, the Souls games and stuff like that, I, I realized that I think I crave a lot of, like, character building and like an actual arc to like and like personalities totally, and like all these different things and and it didn't feel like a lot of the souls games had a lot of that it was just very like dark and it's you know you're you're just trying to get through it and there's just so many dead things and nothing's <laughs> like no one t says anything you know it's just like and there's just random people just floating around and yeah. that's and that's what i mentioned about um this uh, the, the two games like horizon excuse me kind of being bombs for each other because mm. part of it is the story like with horizon i was playing the other night and like i was like man this story is awesome i don't know if you ended up playing anything but like the story yeah. is so sick and like i'm like you know what i think that like there is both of these things can oh is this what's what's going on here read a message open for business oh Whoa. he, he okay. meant he meant that he meant that like merchant that's that's what that means that meant. Oh. Um, I feel like if you walk up to someone, they just say open for business. That is a <laughs> questionable individual. <laughs> but it's like that thing of like, I enjoyed those games too. You know, like I'm enjoying Horizon. But yeah. the fact that you can make an open world like this and like how rare that is, like it's just like refreshing, which may sound weird to talk about a game that like looks and plays like this that like drives you up the wall at points. Um, <laughs> and I think it just like kind of makes you. Uh, appreciate what is going on over here. Is that a bear? Oh my That is a large God. something. Oh what God. What's going on? Is that? Oh, we got uh, monkeys. Uh, oh no! We got monkey men. We got monkey men, Jordan. Oh my God. Uh, oh, they were trapping us. It was a trap. This is like Wizard of Oz just took a horrible turn. Oh dude, 100%, turn. 100%. I'm gonna get <laughs> off my horse because it's honestly gonna be uh, easier for me to do this. Are they actually monkeys yeah. holding swords and? Yeah, they're called like oh demi humans. Like they, yeah, they these like ape creatures. This is Planet of the Apes gone horribly wrong. Where did they learn oh, this? But see, they're like, so I'm, organized. I'm, I'm OP because of the sword. Now, this hunk looks a little beefier. Oh, whoops! I called my horse. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Whatever. Oh. Uh, Driggs, we are playing on Xbox Series S, actually. Yes. Series S in um, quality, uh, pro, uh, uh, frame, rate, frame rate mode. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. No. No. I didn't mean to do that. No. <laughs> Wait a <laughs> sec. Come back. Come back. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I just screwed up wow. everything there. Wow. <laughs> I can't trust anything you say now for this review because I don't trust your gameplay ability. <laughs> yeah, uh, and the only reason I'm playing on Series S is because I'm I'm playing on on console, which is a, a from everything I've heard a more stable experience than PC right now. But also like the Series S is just attached to my streaming rig. But I gotta say I'm very like if you have a Series S like you're still in for like a really great experience. Um, I'm trying to slash this. I wish so there are these skulls that have um that have items in them but you can't like lock onto them so it kind of makes them hard to destroy unless actually here I'm gonna well you just have to you can't pick it up you have to destroy it yeah you have to crush it and then you can take the item 
but oh, oh no, I mean, I should have known. That's that's how skulls work in real life yeah, too, yeah. right? If you want the um, item inside of a skull, you gotta. Smash you got it. You gotta crush it with your sword. Rosie asks, "How are the controls? I put it on PC, but I may use a controller. I've never played a Souls game with mouse and keyboard. That sounds like hell. Um, I, I don't <laughs> but, know. You know." You referenced those guys who were like, I beat it with the controller only in yeah, my mouse. Like, yeah. That was like the one thing. Or yeah. like, this guy doesn't have any arms or legs and yeah. he beat it in yeah. four hours. So yeah. if, you know, if you, maybe if you want to make it more punishing. Uh, you know. uh, up. Yeah, so these things I picked up are like for an item that I don't have yet, but you can make your own flasks. And like, so it's like, Cool, I can make a flask that like mostly boosts my health, but it also gives me like a magic boost. Oh, there's a bunch of these scarabs around here. This is yeah. interesting. The Second other thing, chances. the other thing about the scarabs, which is great, is they don't. Uh, if you refresh the area, they come back. Ooh, that's wonderful. Which is which is awesome. Oh, there's a ton around here. These are all probably wow. for, these are all probably because of this bear. Oh, and the map of this area. Yes, I knew it. The map is right by the marker that I placed. Perfect. Uh, Dan Tucker wants to know if you charge your controller this week. <laughs> I put, uh, this is an Xbox controller, so I did put batteries in here. This is also <laughs> the Forza Motorsport controller. Oh, that is sexy. Like yellow. It is. It's so nice. And it has rubber, rubber grips on the back there. It's very nice. That is also just like... Like if Dwayne Johnson was in bear form, like the the Dwayne Johnson yeah. of bears is over there. Like he's <laughs> like, look at him. What is he? Do? He's been scratching at that tree yeah. for a while. What you doing there, big guy? Oh, another cookbook. Now, do I want to metaphorically prod the bear right now? <laughs> and literally, yeah. yeah. Um, how do you know what kind of what you're in for when you're when you approach a giant creature of this magnitude? Uh, gonna. So the only other time that this happened, uh, where I fought a bear of this size, is um, there was an there was an enemy like a rant, just normal enemy type, right? who was just randomly in the world and I, you know, I was fighting like a bunch of them and it was just like a normal human guy or whatever. And I slashed him and he turned into this. He just, what? yeah, he just like turned into the bear and I was like, what A were bear? And yeah, and like immediately <laughs> clocked me. Let's see, you know what? Let's, let's so go for it. So could this be a man in bear form right now? Who knows? Oh my god, that did nothing. Oh my god, that know. did nothing. Okay, so what, we've learned some things today. Okay, <laughs> we're learning. This was we're a growing as moment. people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Oh! I'm oh, just kidding. No, you're not fast enough at all. Oh, okay. Oh there you god. go. Yep. Oh, wow. He's. Oy. He took that personally. Wow. Okay. We're listening. We're learning. Yeah, you know. Geez. Okay, so well, I, I thought I'd be able to because uh, I had this glintstone thing. I was feeling good about it. I was like, this thing's pretty good, pretty good, pretty OP. Gonna do a bit of damage, and no, uh, completely, uh, <laughs> completely underestimated that guy's uh, health. We all make mistakes, back. Tom. Yeah. We all do. Also, what is this? Isn't a horse? It's got horns. No, yeah, like, what, what is this? It's called Torrent. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a horse except for okay. the horns, but it's pretty cool. Like, I think design-wise, like, maybe I like it. It's kind of horns. like a, it's like a mule horse. Which I guess a mule is like a donkey and a horse already, right? So, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, look, I'm not great with animals, folks. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just making comments on video games like an idiot. Okay. The demi-humans wax wrath. <laughs> Who the hell Lord is Lord Kenneth? Kenneth? <laughs> Something, so someone took the monkey's mother. Uh, uh, so now the the monkeys are all pissed. That's why they're all here. I'm just trying to imagine who Lord Kenneth is. I just imagine, it's like, hey guys, I'm yeah. the lord of this <laughs> land. Um, you have to take care of the monkeys, I guess. And like, like compared to like, Lan like compared to like Lancelot, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and this we is, have uh, Sir, this is Sir Gawain, Sir Lancelot, and Sir Bill. <laughs> uh, this is Sir Kevin. Um, Sir Kevin he's yeah. new. McAllister, yeah. so Kevin McAllister. <laughs> he's got lots of gadgets. He's great. 
yeah, he's like, I'm not really like a sword guy. I just like to play some traps. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to go back and get my runes. That's step one. Step two, not going to screw with the bear. Step three, check That's out what was inside rule. that... Uh, check out what was inside that... Uh... Oh, is it inside... Is the earth tree... Yeah, so all those scarabs, I think the reason all those scarabs are there, because usually they're not bunched up like that. Usually, like, you find one scarab in a certain part of the area. I think they were like, we're going to give you some more because there's a bear that if you want to fight. We've got the Godzilla yeah. of bears over here. You might need <laughs> a bit of a pick-me-up. Yeah. Oh, there's a thing. Oh, this is going to be an underground situation. I was going to say, what is a... Okay, okay. Yeah, it's going to be an underground fine. situation. This elevator's Who are these, uh... Down these spectral those are the players warriors. oh those they're are in the game okay yeah the other okay. players in their own game you'll see them all the time uh so and it's I, i'm pretty sure it's like a live feed uh of oh. like literally other people in that point in the game doing other stuff you'll also find blood stains around and when you click on those um oh what Did you see? I'm like, the inside is on the underground. What the? What is happening? I told you we would find some shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're in Blackreach. Oh my god, this is nuts. Look, there's what a waterfall. What is happening? This, it, this is why this game is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Even Breath of the Wild wasn't pulling stuff like this off. You know what I mean? Like... You just discovered like a new planet underground. Yeah. Holy accident. cow. Uh, just so everyone knows, we are doing a giveaway. We will be running that in probably 20-ish minutes. Around 5.30, I would say, is when we're going to start uh, between 5.30 and 4.45. 5.45, sorry. Soif? 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 Yofra River? Uh, you will be able to enter then, uh, and we do require you to be in the chat when we do the giveaway. Between the time you can enter and by the time we give it away, it'll be about a five-minute turnaround. So I would just say stick around for the last half hour of the chat, uh, of the stream, sorry. And if uh, if you're not here when we announce the giveaway winner and you, you don't reply after, uh, like, 30 seconds or a minute or whatever, we will be picking someone else. Oh, yeah. we do or, or that. Yeah. Okay, well, one or the other. It's so problematic, man. Like, Jordan is just like, I'm just begging. I just want someone to cancel me. I just want oh, man. to man. I'm just waiting. I'm I want waiting. I want to be so... I want it to be... be that just means I'm I'm famous enough to be canceled? Come on. That's yeah, the dream. That's the dream. We all... If you're, if you're canceled, it's the dream. But, um, yeah. And if you, and don't fret. If you don't win today, uh, there will be another opportunity. We are streaming tomorrow at 4 as well. Uh, some more Elden Ring. And we are giving another copy of the game away then. Also, the copy, uh, it can be on the platform of your choice. Xbox, PlayStation, PC, whatever you want to do, that's up to you. Our producer, Ruben, will be hitting you up for that info to make sure you're hooked up with whatever copy you desire. It's going to be great. Um, someone, <laughs> Burnt Phoenix, said, Sorry, I was doing dad stuff. What time did you say? that We were saying probably around 5.30, 5.45, somewhere around there. Eastern time. Uh, Eastern time, yeah. yeah. Uh, whenever we find a lull in gameplay. Um, also, that does bring up something else. We are the dad gaming. And so we are a lot of folks who are watching this, who are involved in the community, are parents. And is this a game, like we were talking about mm. earlier, that you can leave, you know, if you're, if you're, a lot, a lot of parents don't have a lot of time to sure. game. So, like, if you're, if I'm unable to dump dozens, hundreds of hours into this game, is it going to be worth it? Am I going to be able to come back a few weeks later? and know what I'm doing, or am I gonna be like, what is jump button, you know? Mm. Like, what am I doing? I think that um, it's tough, because I do think that, you. I think that there are two legitimate ways to play this game, is spend a ton of waking moments in a day playing it. It's um, just, just suck your soul out, yeah, okay. But also, I think that it's kind of nice that the game is, oh, these guys are, these, mm, okay, I might be uh, a little underpowered. Uh, uh, this is I probably fine. Yeah, it's kind of in that area of like I can push my way through this this area. Yeah. These guys are also like slow as well, so it's true. Um, but I do kind of think that it's great because the game is just like made up of so many small areas that are mm. 
self-contained things like this situation I'm in right now. So like jumping in and beating, um, jumping in and beating. Oh God. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Um, jumping in and like beating these guys like can be a thing that I do and this is the right, thing that I do. Right, sure. And one of the things that someone actually pointed out on Twitter that I wanted to bring up about like was specifically saying like here's the bet here is a way like parents who are playing Elder Ring should know this. If I were to quit the game right now, like just full on quit it, I actually the next time I load will be in the exact same spot like I'm not restarting at a side of grace with all the enemies. Oh. Uh, refreshed, you will come back to the exact same spot. So even though I can't pause the game, this is the pause menu, the start button, right? You can quit the game and come exactly right back to where you are. So that is okay, nice. Follow-up follow up questions. Yeah. If you were to do that, are enemies going to respawn? Like, am I just going to be dead when I turn it back on? Um, like, will those will those slow uh, hefty boys be back and no, 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 no. Me? Uh, okay. Yeah, no, they they should all be probably, like, I, I haven't tested that, so I don't know specifically, but, like, whatever, if someone's charging at you, are they going to be, like, charging at you when you, I don't know. <laughs> when you turn it off? I don't know. Yeah, it's like, do I want to risk <laughs> finding out? I don't know. Well, that's the other other question. In Are you saying that if you were to, you know, go to your main menu and close the application and turn it back on? And then, you know, start another game, and then you were to come back. Will you still be in that same spot? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. rare. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, and then someone asked, Big Shane asked about minimum PC specs. Yeah. One of my friends played it um, on a computer they built in 2016, and they were, like, right on the edge of minimum specs. They were having, I think, the same issues everyone was having. Um, but they just played it on low settings and actually were like fine and like they're not even like a souls gamer um so they they and they and they like got fur they've gotten further in the game than i have so i think it's playable um but right now like even on a really good rig um players are having issues with the game uh, and in fact, mm -hmm. one of the things I was hearing before the patch is that the better rig you had, the worse the problems were. What? Yeah, people people who were like playing on like a 3080 or like a, a rig that they built in like the last year or so were reporting like I'm having the the most issues. Wow. So there you go. Count your blessings, Big Shane. You might you might be in luck. Yeah, Big Shane, you, you might be, uh, yeah, it's really weird. I think that might have been fixed with the patch, but there's still a ton of bug issues. I I would wait and see. I would look into someone that's done a PC review. I would also look into maybe, um, like, a digital, sorry, I've got, a, like, one of my beard, my mustache hairs is, like, curling into my nose. I'm, like, it's really itching my nose. Um... <laughs> TD, TMI, but um, is that a thing people say anymore? TMI, I feel like we will always that back. TMI, sure, why not? Yeah, yeah. The kids saying TMI now. Um, maybe Digital Foundry's review, you know, will will hold the the key for you, for you when that comes out. Um, but if it, if it if it says that your rig should be able to run it, it should be it should be able to run it. And down Steam, if you play like under two hours, you can get a full refund. So, mm. I don't know, give it a try, and if within that you are having uh, issues, then there you go. <laughs> Anything else in the chat? The chat is moving real quick. We've got 60 people in here, which is awesome, but now it means Love that it. there's even less for me to, like, even harder for me to keep track and fight these. I know, what I'm trying to scroll while you actually like, play. This looks like... Th do. The, you know what this <laughs> looks like? This looks like when s something, like, a substance, like, cheese or something like you're cooking something in the oven and it falls onto the bottom falls, of the like oven it's burnt. Yeah. And, then, and then you and then you cook in that oven without scraping that off for a while it looks like that come to life with a spear <laughs> maybe it is maybe it is yeah it's like the bit of lore vengeance. is like oh the cooks these creatures are created from the bottom of the cooks the mozzarella monsters have returned <laughs> oh these guys are doing big damage okay 
Um, let me I feel like anything called things. a mozzarella monster would be very slow like that too. So you just nailed it. Nailed yeah, it. Totally. Man, they look like like just tinier oh versions, lankier versions of like the Toxic Avenger. Oh, let me bring up one of my uh, spirits. Let me bring up these wolves. Oh boy. So yeah, these are my spirit summons here. These are my wolf boys. And as you can see, they're, they're helping really distract these guys. Oh, there we go. Okay, nice, one. nice. But the thing is, is yeah, they have their own health bars. And once you've summoned spirits, oh, Clayman's harpoon. Oh, they're called Clayman. Like Clayman. 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 Can I bring up my, yeah, I can ride my horse in here, which is dope. Oh no, Garrett said in re in response to mozzarella monsters, he said monsterella, which. Oh my God, that needs to be like a Sharknado-esque sci-fi. Well done. Original film, monsterella. <laughs> monsterella. So like, it almost sounds like a it's cheesy a Cinderella though. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was also thinking. Like <laughs> Cinderella set in the the world of Hotel Transylvania or whatever the yes. big series is. It's a DreamWorks uh, production. Oh, it's definitely sure. a DreamWorks thing. It's not like a, yeah. this is not a Disney. No, this uh, isn't dark. No, yeah. no, this is a family friendly event. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Uh, once you've summoned, oh my God, there's more of these guys. Once you have uh, summoned like any spectral allies, uh, mm -hmm. once they are defeated in that area, you cannot do another summons. You can only do it once in whatever area you're in. Oh, okay, so you gotta use it wisely. This guy's got okay. an orb next to him. Like, I'm not, I don't... Yeah, what does that mean? Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't really, I don't like what's going on. Oh, God. I am doing some big leveling up here, which is, which is dope. Oh, you know what? Let's switch to the Wolverine Claws here. Yeah, let's do it. It's adamantium taste and time, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not doing nearly as much damage. Yeah, so the, these guys' deals are they're really slow, but they pack a punch, and you mm -hmm. are not doing nearly as much. And I'm now there's like six of them coming at me. Yeah, this uh, isn't an ideal scenario, no. for sure. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, I can't craft items here. That's annoying. Oof! This is uh turning into a situation. It is a situation. Um, I wonder if. Oh, what if I try that sword dance move that I did? Yeah, Let okay. Let me make sure that I am fully... Okay, let's give this a go. By the way, I'm very I'm close to changing line. my gamer tag to Lord Kenneth. It's, it's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm really close. I know that's a callback to a while back. Some people might not be here, but... Uh, but you've been yeah, thinking about it this whole time. It's been really ruminating for a long time. I'm like, man, that'd be so good. It's so lame. I love damn, it. Damn, 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 damn. Okay. Uh, Driggs, uh, Tom said he's been in, he's been playing for about 30 hours? He yeah, said I'm, you're, probably, you're I'm just... probably like over 40 at this point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I, I barely scratched the surface. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like really. It's so intimidating. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't think it's intimidating because I think this game is like a game where it is. Yeah, it's you, meant to be explored. It's like, meant to from experience. So from Software could ne re never release like another another game you know what i mean i was you gonna say is this, this like the crowning achievement is this like you, this this is the, as far as they could go yeah so i actually say about that in my review like there's very little wiggle room left for this company to do anything <laughs> with this formula anything that feels like a, a, a step up i kind of uh, uh hearken it to super smash brothers ultimate what hmm. do you do after that and the answer is right. is that you kind of go back to the drawing board and you kind of you do a reboot and like demon souls and dark souls was a reboot for this company this company is known for armored core before that like people think that like dark souls and demon souls were their first games they've been making games for forever and uh the rumor is is that they're going to go back to armored core and i would love to but the thing is is like armored core is like a sci-fi game there's a lot of shooting and stuff so like they're shooting bows and arrows and this is it's not great um <laughs> And so I think that they should kind of go back to the drawing board, take some of the stuff that works from this, really refine uh, the gameplay, and, um, and and 
and just have this. Like, don't I don't think they will make an Elden Ring too. I don't think mm. we're gonna, you know. And the people keep talking about like a sequel to Bloodborne, and a report recently came out that was like they have no intention of making a sequel to Bloodborne. And after playing Elden Ring, I kind of believe it. I kind of believe that they're gonna be done with this formula for a while. Um, because I just think after this game, like, there's nothing, like, <laughs> there's nowhere to go, really. I think they should just combine the two franchises and let you play through all the Souls games in a giant mech suit. That's, I think that's the one <laughs> direction you could go. Yeah, DLC uh, for, for Elden Ring is just bringing <laughs> yeah. the mech suit. Great. Um, so, yeah, so, well, we've just defeated a whole bunch of these guys, but guess what, Jordan? There's a whole ton more still to kill. What? <laughs> yeah. Um, what is this? Try luring out. Okay, cool. Yeah, and so these notes that you're seeing uh, that I just pulled up, those are notes that other players have left, and you can leave messages in the game. One mm. of the nice things about the review period of this game is that Everyone's left very helpful notes. Usually in a Souls game, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, people leave like sometimes like the least helpful information ever. People would leave things like to try to trick you into killing yes, yourself, exactly. right? Exactly. I yeah. haven't run in and in, into any of that yet, which is uh, really nice. <laughs> so yeah, it seems the best uh, strategy with these guys is to get behind them to um, do that like uh, stab attack in the back, like this. Also, like, while you're in that animation, you can't take damage, which is nice. You so. got some, yeah, invincibility frames. Oh, is that one? See, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to start making things up. Yeah, Ooh, you'll be like, oh, right. invincibility quarks, yes. <laughs> quarks? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Why? Why? A why an ominous flying orb? So why? someone, one of these guys, is a magic. This guy here, he's just like sending orbs. So it's kind of just like Ooh, magic mozzarella, man. Yeah, it's just kind of like cool. You have to kind of not only deal with this melee, but there's also this slow moving orb that is coming to kill you, and you need to uh, avoid attacks from both. And then there's these smaller but fast, fast moving ones. You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna go up to this big boy over here. Yeah. He's really pissing me off. <laughs> stab. Another stab in the tush. Yep, right up there. We've learned. Oh, he's throwing his thrown hands. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, dropping him. I fucked around and found out. Oh, yeah. I did indeed. Oh, no. Don't oh. let that. Yeah, Ooh. don't let that be the. I, don't, mm -hmm. I do not have any. Uh, Knocking on left. all wood. <laughs> yeah. Immunizing cured, cured meat. meat. Yes. There you go. What are you? What's it immunizing you? Is that what we needed for COVID? The cured <laughs> yeah, meat? we need some cured meats. Yeah, we were giving everyone vaccines, but we really should. I'm be anti giving them. cured meat. <laughs> I'm just. I'm totally against it. I think we should all have the freedom to eat whichever meats we want. I'm telling you right um, now, a lot of Americans who were uh, against the vaccine probably would have uh, taken it if we were like. Actually, ham is the, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, all these people out here, like, taking, like, horse Put it dewormer. in bacon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just put it in bacon, man. Why didn't we think of that? <laughs> Science, come on. Just put the vaccine God. in bacon. Think smarter, not harder. Yeah. It was all, I mean, I'm not about to go into a whole diatribe of, like, the anti <laughs> That's not what this is for. Yeah. That's not what this is for. I'm usually the, I'm the problematic one, Tom. I'm not being problematic. <laughs> I'm saying get vaccinated. <laughs> But it was just funny that they were like, you don't know what's getting put in your body. And then they're just like, yes, but I will take every other like form of medication and try and get rid of this thing. Sure. So yeah. Funny. I'm my own science. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got another elevator. Oh, so we're going up, up down. This time. We're Where going are we going? Up. We're going up. Baby. Yeah, okay. Uh, so one of the things that I'm going to do real quick, because I'm worried something's going to jump out at me is... I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna refill my magic and then I have this urgent heal spell that I can use to heal up instead of using flasks. 
Yeah, I'm really worried that there's going to be like some dude popping out here. Someone's didn't... waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> didn't expect uh -huh. pickle. I mean, me neither. To be fair, uh... <laughs> I I mean. Oh, now I'm now stars. I'm even more worried. Beautiful dot 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 ahead. Ahead. I think all of this been... sounds so ominous. Yeah. Why? I'm still waiting for that pickle. pickle. Yeah. What's this wow. over here? So many different ways to take that. Not the pickle. I mean, the, what they said about. Yes, you yes, know what yes, I mean. Yes, yes, yes. Be wary of enemy. Oh no. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm gonna okay. do? It's kind of dark. I'm gonna equip um, my lantern here. That boy right there. Yeah. No one likes a surprise pickle. No one needs that. Material ahead. Corpse. Okay. Corpse. <laughs> <laughs> preserving, preserving boluses. Okay. Okay. So someone, someone was screwed. See, people are already regular Joes are already in the game because I haven't been screwed mm -hmm. with yet with that note, and they were like, "Oh, there's an enemy." Got him. Um. Yeah. I wonder what that item is, but we are going to keep moving on here. Can I get on torrent? Yeah, I think I can. Get on the steed. Can someone make them? I, I also I'm only making this joke because I, I can't hear the game. We we have the way we have it set up. Oh, yeah. Tom and I don't have the game audio running. I have uh, the game audio. You do. You do. I so do. I'm I am alone. I have no idea what this game sounds like. But I do. Whenever you've mounted your steed, the music in the original Pokemon, like the bicycle music when that comes oh, on yeah. when you get on the bike, that's going on in my head right now. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> That's it's just so happy. You guys are just like depressed in the dumps in some like some dark cave, and I'm just in. I'm just having a blast, having time of my life in my own brain, fighting a big old crab. Big crab, indeed. Crabby. Oh, no. That's more of a kingler. Let's be real. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not. Oh well, that was a mistake. Oh. Uh, I'm going to. I think I'm just gonna avoid the crab for right now. Because I don't have any more flasks. And they're a pretty common enemy, so it's not like it's a bot. Yeah, remember, we went underground. <laughs> yeah, what is happening? Explain the science here, I don't, okay? I, I really couldn't tell you. Oh, this is gonna be a map or a light flame. Mr. Pro Vaccination. Yeah. Explain this. Yeah, explain the science here. Yeah. I thought <laughs> okay, you liked Stephen science. Hawking. I thought you liked <laughs> science. Tell me about yeah, science. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, what if I pull... Oh, it's still the overworld. It's just, like, all blacked out. Oh. It's wild, man. God, like this, like, this is just a mini area that's under... I feel like you're in some different dimension or something. This is this is weird. I feel like you're gonna like you're gonna fall off a cliff and find the soul stone. It's beautiful though, like, it's just, other it's than so the giant strange. crabs. Other than the giant murdering crabs, yeah, it's great. I'd vacation here. Oh, a map, great. Hey. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh boy. Oh god, this, this is a boss. This is 100% a boss. Oh, you think it's someplace called the Hollow Horn Grounds <laughs> that leads a singular path to a dark, shadowy figure with tentacles is bad? Oh, it's not. Huh. Sorry, actually, it's just this plant thing. Oh, it's just a plant thing. Oh, it's dead. Oh, it's a moose. Wait, what? What is going it's on? It's a zombie moose. What? You're going to have to fight that zombie moose, aren't you? No, you're not. Looks, oh, it's it's super dead. It's just it's soup's dead. Something's growing out of it. This looks like feels like we're playing Dying Light Two again. Yeah, it does actually. I was just thinking <laughs> that. What time is it, Jordan? 
It's about to be it 530, is so we'll give... 530 on the we'll give, nose. We'll give, we'll give it a couple more minutes and then get this uh, kicked off here. Ruben waiting in the wings. Yeah, get uh, your family, get your friends in here. Who oh, wants a copy oh, of the game? We're gonna... Oh, oh, this seems an appropriate time to do a giveaway! <laughs> <laughs> that's what he was screaming. I know you couldn't hear it. That's what he said. But I couldn't that's hear what it, but he, I was... Yeah, 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 I, yeah that was what I he was screaming. It. Yeah, with the bicycle <laughs> music in the background from Pokemon, yeah. Oh my god. That's annoying. And wow. I have to start... And if I want my rune... How far have, back? Uh, so, all through the Marshmallow Men, dude. All through the marshmallow it. men might... again. All right, let's let's uh, let's start this giveaway then. Um, All right. Hang on. Oh, now I gotta learn how to minimize this shit, dude. How do I? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm... <laughs> Skype is still full screen. How did this happen? <laughs> oh my god. All right, here we go. Technology hates us. Why do we do this? There we go. All right. Um. Ruben, please. Start the magic. giveaway. Yeah. Thumbs up. Did he give you a thumbs? I don't have his camera. You have Skype full screen, but you don't have. No, nope, Ruben is. Screen. Yeah. <laughs> He's in the void. He did give a thumbs up. He's waving to me. All right, cool. Um, and me alone, apparently. Yeah, you alone. <laughs> there we go. We got people in here. All right, we're going to give All it a right. couple of minutes for people to get their entries in. Exclamation point enter, people. You see it happening. You want to copy the game? Enter. Lenter it up. We're going to be giving away a copy of the game on the platform of your choice. Yeah, we do have the, the overlay up, Ruben. Yep, that's up. Yeah, platform of your choice. So don't you don't have to worry about that. If I do. Oh, now, now your camera's back. You don't see it on stream? Oh, hang on. That was weird. Oh, for me to... Oh, I had it in studio mode, Ruben. I had it in studio mode. And anytime you change something... It, it we're doesn't... listening, we're learning. Yeah, you know what's up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's not like this is their job or anything. Oh, boy. All right. We're going to try and... Uh... You know, you know what I'm saying? Ow. We're just gonna. There's a spry horned horse he got there. Look at this! Look at this! Agility plus ten. So yeah, we're gonna give it a few minutes for people to get their entries in here. Oh no, where's the? Oh no. There we go. Okay. I can't no believe after everything, I died by falling off <laughs> a cliff. Oh, an abyss. Uh, feels appropriate to me. Just seems right. All right, we got a lot of names in here. We do we do? This is great. I love it. And I just love rem it. remember, guys, if you don't win today, we are doing another giveaway tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we're going to be playing um, and, and giving away another copy. So we're going to be doing the same thing. We stream every Thursday and Friday, um, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and next week we have uh, an exciting guest interview. I have you here, Jordan. Can we confirm that? Is that a lock? We are we are looking very good, okay. and yeah, I think we can go ahead yeah, and say it, guys. It. We're gonna, I'm going to be talking with Jennifer Hale on Friday next week. Voice of uh, many voices, but uh, prominently in the gaming sphere, uh, Fem Shep from Mass Effect. You might know her. Ash from Overwatch. Um, lots of different Marvel voices. Uh, Sarah Palmer from the Halo series. Um, all over the place. She's a she's a veteran. Prolific voice actor. I'm just excited to hear her speaking in my ear for like <laughs> half an hour. It's going to be great. I'm so excited. So yeah, so yeah we're going to do a live interview next Friday. Next Friday, uh, which is very exciting. Uh, and that is definitely looking to do as many of those things as possible. So yeah, make sure you're following the channel. We're going to be doing giveaways. Pretty much any game we, we preview, we're, we're going to look to do a giveaway if we can, um, which is exciting. And yeah, so make sure you're following. And then also there's a bunch of tournaments and stuff that the channel does that have zero to do with me. <laughs> uh, I know nothing about have, any of that. We have so many people involved in those. We have uh, beautiful, so wonderful moderators people. who spend a lot of time making these 
tournaments go as smoothly and make them as enjoyable as we can. And they do a great job. Oh! I'm so thankful for them. A lot of them are in the chat right now. You beautiful people. I, so I got my runes back, but I almost fell off again. <laughs> I, I watched. I noticed. <laughs> oh, God. You, Does your horse have a double jump? Yeah, so it does. Uh, yeah. Oh, and it's no. sick. In the main, in the overworld, there are these uh, kind of springy air, like pockets of wind. And if you jump on, if you uh, jump on those, oh God! Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! That's the. That is a harpoon. That's a, a large arrow. Wow. Oh, one of these boys again. That's just sticking in me. Is that just in you for the rest of the, yeah, yeah. Of the game? Oh, this? Don't worry. It's just a flesh wound. Just a giant ethereal arrow stuck in my arm. Uh, I'm going to chill out in here, but yeah. Gee. <laughs> what is going on? It's bigger than you. Oh, my God. That's so funny. <laughs> All right. Let's say let's Ow. give it until let's give it until 540. All right. Four there. more minutes. Yeah. Get your name in, folks. Tis just a scratch. Oh, God. Says, it's not going why? well. It's... Emperor Palpatine's down here, apparently. Didn't need him. Oh, actually, let me, um... Let me get Steve. <laughs> yeah, someone said, I used to be an adventurer like you until I took an arrow to the arm. <laughs> Man, we could have had a we could have a new meme on our hands. People need to, we to share that clip far and wide. <laughs> You're like, remember Arrow with a knee? Well, this is Arrow in an R. <laughs> it's evolving. It's evolving. Oh yeah, so this. Oh, these guys aren't too tough. Okay, I was worried that these guys. All right. Oh, Oof. but they can pack a punch. I'm gonna get off my horse. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I think that that is the best. Force of action. Nice. Is that just Suck a giant dragonfly? Yeah, what is... they're just like gnats. They're really hard to hit, but they're, so they're super annoying. Ugh. I just can't get over the fact that this is a well. <laughs> we are at the bottom of a well in this game. And, like, no water, really. There's, like, some little puddles. I mean, here, like, yeah, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, he's up oh, here? God. There's another one. Oh, uh, new one. Uh, uh. One of the, one of the, oh. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, that's the crab. Oh, I forgot about the crab. I forgot about the crab. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh no! Uh, yeah, not. I'm just not drinking one any of this well water, by the way. Oh no, no, no! We'd never touch it. How'd you get crabs? The well water—it's just <laughs> full of them, full of them. The nice thing about this game is, like, fall damage is greatly reduced. It used to be, like, if you fell from that height, like, that'd be game over. But in this, like, that, they're, they're way more uh, good about. Oh! Whoa. Oh, he took him out for me. Yeah. No. No. Uh, uh, no uh, what is no, what? I don't know. I don't so know. Is, is the crab the shooting? No, don't let the this crab fly. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, the irony of the thing. You were like, they're like gnats, and then he, he kills you right then. Perfect. I just want I don't to, want it to the happen. This tower, please. But. Please, just give me a moment's rest. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, guys. Yeah, fall damage. <laughs> Less oh fall damage, god. which is good for a game that actually has a jump button now. That's great. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, because you're just, yeah, way more likely to, to fall. Try left. Try left? Okay. Oh, left I see. From fall, where? Fall oh, got it. Here. All right, okay. we're going to check the top of... Oh. Hmm. So there's something here. over there. I'm going to keep going up to the top, and once we go up to the top, which is this? Try fingers. Try fingers. 
So Strange there's a pickle. <laughs> okay. Oh, then maybe that's what it was. <laughs> hey. Uh. Oh, golden rune. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, so why don't we... Um... Let's do it. You look safe enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking safe enough. Uh, so we're going to do this giveaway naively. and then play maybe another, like, 15-ish uh, minutes uh, here. Let's do it. Um, but, yeah, I mean... Ruben, why don't we, uh, let's give, all right, enter, speak now, forever hold your peace. Get it in, exclamation point, enter, let's go. If I don't see this number change, I'm going to count down from 10. If I don't see the number change, we're going to pick a winner is how we're going <clears> to <throat> do it. 10. Oh, we're at 82. 10, 9, <laughs> 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One. All right, Ruben, let's do it. Let's do the giveaway. Ring that bell, Ruben. Too generic for you, too. Are you in the chat? Is Are he you here? in the chat? Let's see. We're going to give him some time to, to answer, and if he's not in the chat, we're going to pick another winner. And remember, we are going to be doing another giveaway tomorrow. Yes, there he is. I see him. All right, too I see generic. Him. There he is. Congratulations. Congratulations to too generic. Thank you for everyone for entering. We are going to play a little bit more Elden Ring until 6, so like another 15 minutes, but we will be doing another giveaway tomorrow at 4 as well. I'll uh, start in the stream at 4, doing the, the giveaway in the latter bit of the stream. Um, but thank you so much, uh, everyone, for entering and tuning in. Um, and yeah, we're going we're gonna to keep playing here. We're going to try to not get murdered by a crab. You're going to try. We're going to try our best. As I do every day to and, try and not get murdered by a crab. And we do giveaways for tons of other games as well. Um, uh, we gave a copy of Horizon last week. We'll, we'll be doing some more giveaways coming up. So make sure you're following the channel. And we do these fun streaming game streams, Jennifer Hale interview streams every Thursday and Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Um, oh, what's in here? Oh, it's a salesman. He's like, I've like been waiting the best here place <laughs> to set up shop. <laughs> He's like, my first oh, dollar is going to go in this yeah. wall behind me. <laughs> my first rune. Oh, a stone sword key. This oh, is yes. this is really useful. So there are these stone sword keys that you can find in the world. And then um, you can use to um, unlock certain areas. And there's this place called the Round Table Hold, which is kind of like the hub for the Tarnished. And in there, there are rooms that you can go into, uh, but you need Stone Sword Key to unlock. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so. Uh, let's see here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, actually, let me check. Hello, hello again. Yeah. Good customer. He's like, oh, I, I really would love you to buy something. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first man I've seen in months. I honestly just want to find another side of grace so I don't... <laughs> have to do this again. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I want to level up. Oh, Ooh, a hefty bone? Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What? Is happening. <laughs> yeah, I think it's this this plant down here. Which, uh, not gonna lie, that kind of. Okay, so it's just these plants. Okay. So we're back out here. So after everything you've seen, Jordan, how are you feeling personally? <laughs> about this game or just in general i mean <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah no. um I, I like it um i, I th the fact that there are so many games out right now sure. that like i'm super into and i already don't have much time to play yeah <laughs> um i don't know if i'll pick it up right away uh but i do i am i am excited about it i i it does excite me that a lot of reviewers including you have talked about how the, the fact that this is not a bad one you know, for someone who doesn't have a lot of experience with from software games, it's not a bad one to dive into. 
I would, I would say no. that if anyone, if you like, you are someone who's like, I want to try to get into this. Yeah. Like this is the game for that for sure. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It is promising. So I, I think I'll pick it up eventually, but maybe, probably not this week. <laughs> sure. Maybe next week. <laughs> maybe next week is a different story. <laughs> All right, we're going to use some Wolverine claws here. Yeah, we are. Oh, man. That's really just grinding my gears right now. Oh, the energy. Right. Oh, Harpoon Boy. There we go. <laughs> now, are these more uh, Wolverine claws or Vega from Street oh, Fighter? Oh, God. Uh, Vega from Street Fighter. For sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me... Oh. Yeah, I gotta do... I gotta do the old magic boost here. Otherwise, we're gonna die. Yeah. <gasps> no! <laughs> well, that was a fun stream, guys. We're gonna go uh, uh, do something drastic. <laughs> Oh, oh, sheesh. Hang on a sec. One sec. I think that that was... Oh, we finally figured it out. Miss Stark pull, pulled it out. I think that the game audio was coming through two sources. That's why it sounded so loud. That's oh. why. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, hang on. That is what is happening. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. We're going to have to fix that for tomorrow. <laughs> but I don't know. How... God, that's so complicated. Unless I change. Oh, no. Unless I change the source. We'll figure that out tomorrow. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I, I died. I think that's a good place to, to maybe maybe call it. Uh, cause by the time I run and get back to where my runes are, we'll be, uh, we'll, we'll, it'll be time. Time will be up then, yeah. yeah. Um, but thank you everyone so much for tuning in again. Like I said, if you didn't win, uh, totally another chance for you to, uh, enter tomorrow. Gonna be playing some more Elden Ring. We will fix any audio issues as well. Um, and yeah, we'll be doing another giveaway. And that's that. So 4 p.m. Eastern time again. Me and Jordan right here, Ruben on the ones and twos running the show in the in the background. Uh, thank you very much, Ruben, for handling that crazy giveaway. Um, all right, everyone. Um, hope you have a great evening. If you are about to play Elden Ring on P PC, you've got uh, and you're on the East Coast. <laughs> I think you've only got a few more minutes until the game is unlocked. So enjoy. That's right. And, Best of luck uh, with your rig, whatever you're running on. Even if uh, even if uh, you pick up the game tomorrow we were you know and you don't you know you're not entering the way we would still love to, for you to be in the chat to let us know what you're thinking of the game when you yeah let us know your tomorrow. thoughts would love to hear from the norm the normies the plebs um <laughs> <laughs> of the world and i mean that endearing um Almost, yeah all right jordan thank you so much for ch uh joining me uh and we will see anytime everyone. we'll see everyone tomorrow what nope